We probably have to talk about Bubba, right? First triple so. A start. I think First so. Triple A start. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, he what he carried the no hitter into like the first, like had a no hitter in the first like three or four innings or something like that. Um, only the two hits, a walk. 40% of his pitches were either called strikes or whiffs or swings and misses. So um, 90, averaging 97, 98, almost a 50% whiff rate with his fastball, which is insane at like any level. And then you factor in, he's 21 years old, making his first start in, in AAA, and he struck out or he had a whiff rate of almost 50% with it. So, yeah. Like, I remember, I think it was last week, we, like I said, maybe we we need to pump the brakes on the bubble going to uh, the majors. Uh, right. <laughs> give him a couple of weeks. But, man, if he's just going to keep doing this, like just I, – I don't know what you're playing. I don't know what they're going to be playing for at the end of August now, seeing, seeing what the major league team is doing. But, like, he he may be kicking down doors here in the next week or two and, and being like it yeah, because, like, like he's even mixing in like the curveball even more and, and using the slap. Like, so like for someone like someone with that kind of fastball coming up to a new level and with how effective that pitch was in that game, like I could have easily seen him just go like 50, 60, close to 70% usage with it. Results probably wouldn't have been good, but or like the strikeouts probably would have been higher, maybe a couple more walks, but like, he he limited to like 40 per, like 40 just over 40 percent usage used the slider a lot mixed in the curveball he's using the curveball kind of just like a get over pitch against like lefties and stuff like that the changeup is nasty if he, if he can if he can locate that changeup just a little bit better i mean that's easily one of the better changeups in in the system um it's he's just like that was just like a total package kind of start for him and it was in triple a um, against some pretty good hitters too. Uh, I don't think Milwaukee's Milwaukee isn't like Toledo like they played last week with a like a load of former major league players, but there's some decent prospects on the team. Um, yeah, it was just just impressive. Just he just keeps blowing past like expectations and, and, and stuff like that. You kind of want to be like, okay, well, let's pump the brakes a little bit. He's still 21. Now he's in triple, you know, he's in double A, struggled a little bit. Okay, well, we expected it. Came back from the injury, and he just different levels since then. It's so exciting to see. Yeah. And, like, yeah. so when he made that start, I know the numbers just looked fantastic. And, of course, it's one start, like you are mentioning, like you, you want to see him string it off, but what a debut. But yeah. to me, it, the fastball was super impressive. Don't get me wrong. But it was like when I looked at the other stuff and everything else graded out really well too. And like you mentioned, mm -hmm. the change up, like how well that change looks. And so I was like, okay, holy hell. Because we know, like, we know the fastball is good. That was one thing. Mm -hmm. and let's rewind back. We were talking about this season upcoming. I think like the first few shows we had you on, and you made your little thing here about like, you know, whose fastball is better, him or Paul Skeens. You know, like that's that's the level bubble needs to be on, the type of respect you need to give him. But it's like the secondary stuff. It's like, man, it's it's here. It's yeah. it's real. It's legit. And for mm -hmm. everything we talk about, Bubba Chandler, how the, how much of a project he's going to be, and give him time, and this and that, and it's just like he's taking it to hyper gear. And again, I want to I want to I want to slow down a yeah. little bit. Yeah. I know my yeah, yeah, yeah. going, but it's like this guy's here. It's here. <laughs> it's legit now. It's it's yeah. it's a hundred percent legit. And you talk about like the the changeup. I remember I went to I went and watched his last start in Greensboro last year, and coming out his arm like you, there's no difference between the fastball and the changeup. The arm speed is just a hundred percent the same until so like you don't know it's a changeup until the last second, and it's just falling completely away from like left-handed hitters, and they have like zero shot at it. it it's just just everything's to be this complete of a pitcher. Now, when we are just talking about a little over a year ago about like, you know, there needs to be some patience because this is his first, you know, last year was his first year fo focusing solely on pitching. Just how quickly he's come now with that is just insane. It is amazing how he just like all of a sudden throws strikes. Yeah. 
Yep. Just and, woke up one morning like I'm gonna throw strikes now. Yeah, and and that's the inside the strike zone. That's the the even the fastball, and um, just insane. I do love flipping the curveball early in counts too with guys yes. that throw harder stuff. And we saw it a little bit with Skeens and Jones this year. I, you know, I've been a big proponent of that for a while, but I just love that the Pirates are starting to implement that. Yeah, I, yeah, it, it's it's been a game changer for them. 